Hi, my loves. It's Tade Simone here, and I'm really excited to respond to the 21 text messages you sent to my community number. Are you ready? Dana L. Where are you from? I'm originally from Brazil. Moved to Florida when I was 16. My dad's Lebanese and my mom's Italian. Taylor, what teachers have you trained with? I'm gonna tell you about one specific teacher that I love, Jitsuma Tenzin Palmo. I've been able to have the honor of um, taking the Bodhisattva vow with her, which is a vow to um, really train your mind, open your heart, so much so that, you're, that your life becomes a, a message of, of peace and, and love and compassion and wisdom and joy. Sylvia C, what is the very first thing you do in the morning to get you going in the most shining way possible? I always remind myself, today, by the end of the day, I may die. So because of that, may I only do the things that matter most to me and may these things have the greatest healing impact on the lives of, of as many people as possible. That usually gets you going. Lauren A, how was meeting Deepak Chopra? It was amazing. Went to dinner with him, and then I had an opportunity to teach with him at his retreat. It was like dreams coming true. And he endorsed my second book, which was epic. So thank you, Deepak. Katrin P. How do you suggest finding your spiritual friends slash spiritual community? Join the Spiritually Sassy School, honey. It's a, a, a network, an app that we have that you can not only meet friends that are on a spiritual journey like you, but you also have access to all my courses, meditations, dance therapy practices. Sophia M. How have you had the self-discipline to consistently practice self-care? The truth is, it's simple. I was desperate, honey. Liz, where do you want to travel to next? I always want to go back to India. I know it's kind of addicting, but I really want to go to, um, to Bhutan or Mongolia. Both places have amazing history, so I want to go there. Marley S. How can I meditate? It's so hard for me to focus. I always invite students to start with a feeling of the breath in the body. The breath is always available. The breath is always in the now. Like that. And by focusing on the breath, by returning to the object of focus, by returning to the breath, each time your mind, your attention wanders, you are in practice. So welcome to the meditation club, honey. Katie P. Hi, honey. Your question, what was your aha moment that, that you needed to get sober? I was just tired of feeling like <laughs> period. Andy H, how do you stay so fabulous? First of all, Andy, what you see in me is in you, honey, okay? So first start is second, it's a feeling. It's really like a, a state of being, you know? Confidence is, is not how you look, but how you feel. Patricia. Voice notes or texting? Voice notes, 100%. Kim B, what's your favorite nail color? This blue right here. So this blue in my lineage, it's the color of Medicine Buddha. Uh, Medicine Buddha is a Buddha that helps us to alleviate physical pain, physical suffering, uh, disease in the body. So I wear this color right now, especially as a reminder to keep sending blessings uh, to my mom who's experiencing cancer for the second time. Andrea L, how did you and Ben meet? Ben is my boyfriend. We met because we share the same publisher. My first book, I published with the same publisher that Ben's published. How many of these books? I don't know. Four of it. Four. Andrea L, hi honey. I know you. Do you want to be a dad one day? Um, yes. <laughs> yes, I do. Um, a Tibetan astrologer years ago in India said that I'm going to have four kids. So stay tuned. Tina D, how do you let go specifically of anything or anyone that's toxic? First of all, I don't believe anyone is toxic, but how do you let go? Forgiveness, 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 forgiveness. And just so you know what forgiveness means, is the release of the need or the desire to punish. If you're forgiving someone, you're releasing the desire or the need to punish them. If you're forgiving yourself, you're releasing the desire to punish yourself. 
Jules B. What do I do if I'm doing all the things, therapy, meditation, yoga, writing, writing, mindfulness, and I'm still struggling so hard to just be okay? I've been there too. One thing that always uh, is very helpful to remember is that nothing blooms all year. Okay, you, this is a season that you're in right now. Uh, so remember that. Stick with it, keep going, and soon enough, you're going to be collecting all the beautiful consequences of all these wholesome, beneficial actions of going to therapy, meditation, yoga, doing all this amazing stuff that you're doing, okay? Why know me, G? What a cute name, honey. Why know me? What's your favorite meal? Favorite meal, uh, it's a meal that I grew up eating. It's stuffed squash with rice and ground beef covered in yogurt. It's epic. Logan P. What do you think is the most underrated piece of advice for those starting their spiritual journey slash awakening? Relearn how to breathe. Relearning how to breathe. Breathing in a way that heals. Breathing in a way that relaxes your mind, energizes your body, relaxes your nervous system. It's how you can actually develop yourself to becoming the most um, iconic, legendary, sexy version of yourself. Rocio Carmen, I would like to know what you think of the Bible and if you read it. Um, I haven't read the Bible, but I think Jesus is cool. Ben, what was the inspiration for your books? The first book is called Five Minute Daily Meditation. The intention and the inspiration behind the book was to create 365 meditations that you're able to do in under five minutes. The second book is called Spiritually Sassy, Eight Radical Steps to Activate Your Innate Superpowers. The foundation and the inspiration behind the book is showing the world that spirituality can look, uh, it can sound, it can be very different from this uh, forced seriousness that so many of us have equated to spiritual progress. Aaron W. What's your nighttime routine? So I do my thing in the bathroom. I kiss my boyfriend goodnight. And then I do two mantras. One is a wisdom mantra, which is a Manjushri mantra, which is this, this guy right here. And the other one is a Vajrasafa mantra, purification mantra, um, purifying all the unwholesome, destructive ways that I have um, acted in the day, knowing or unknowingly. Um, so I do that and I go to sleep, rest deep, relaxed like that. Yeah.